Shoe Repair Workshop. Good evening, my name is Eric Norman. I'm a shoemaker and today I'm going to show you a little bit of shoe repair maintenance. Rubber Soles Repair. So the next repair will be addressing heel wear that happens at the back corner of the heel. Everybody's shoe does that. It's not a problem. You can probably see the damage there, how that corner has just worn off. And what we're going to do to start is get that piece of sandpaper again or emery board and scuff up the area. This makes sure that there's no foreign debris there and it opens up the surface, in this case rubber, for accepting a better adhesion with the glue. So give it a few good scuffs. Again, if you want to get something a little bit more abrasive, you can kind of scratch it. Not really cut into it, but just abrade the surface. And as before, after it's sanded a little bit, you want to kind of brush off all those little particles. Then the next step is to grab some tape. If you have a dress shoe or a, a shoe with a heel that's a little bit different than this style, th and what, what I mean by that is if I put this tape directly on the heel, you can see that it extends over the top of where the heel ends, whereas maybe a normal kind of shoe, this tape would just be fine if it ran alongside the edge, right? So on this one, since the width of the tape exceeds the width, the height of the heel, we're going to fold the piece of tape so that there's a section where there's no sticky side of the tape. And what you'll do is try and match the height of the heel, tape around the sides, I'm going to change the placement so that it covers this damage a little bit better. So tape around the sides, more or less even with the top of the heel before the wear happened. So you can kind of see it's a little even with itself there, flat. And then you can take something like shoe goo and fill in that damage. And what you do is this is self-leveling so after you apply a little bit if you're going to kind of under apply or over apply I would definitely under apply and just put more if you need so what you'll do is apply some of the product and since this tape is clear you can kind of see you can look on the from the outside of the tape and see if you're filling that void completely or if it still uh, has maybe air bubbles or some pockets and work it in. And again, this is self-leveling, but it is a pretty thick substance, so it's not going to flow exactly like a liquid, but it will flow somewhat. And if it's rough, that's that's honestly fine because obviously this part of your shoe gets worn quite a bit, and so that'll almost naturally sand itself off. And if we let this sit for a while, although it looks streaky now, you'll see that it will flow and will level itself out a little bit. And so we'll leave this to cure. The manufacturer of this product uh, recommends 24 to 48 hours. So we'll just leave it like this. And again, if you need to build up layers, you can uh, add some more later. And just check, since your tape is clear, I would recommend using clear tape so that you can look inside the repair and make sure that there's no voids. Just make sure that you've filled the heel repair and again should self level and you should be good to go in 24 to 48 hours and if you really want to play it safe maybe 72 hours so that it's full hardness and just to show you what it looks like this is one that I prepared in advance and so now you can peel the tape off and you can see the repair and again it's not permanent but It'll give you a little bit of extended wear out of these. 
This product dries clear. You can get it in black if your soles are black. Thank you for watching.